Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32 LCD TFT display controller. It covers all of the features of the LTDC controller, which is used to interface with TFT displays. LCD TFT stands for Liquid Crystal Display Thin Film Transistor. The controller is highly configurable and interfaces with standard parallel RGB interfaces. The benefits of the LCD TFT display controller include flexible programmable display parameters, integrated pixel format converter, and blender. The LCD TFT display controller or LTDC frame buffer can be located either in on-chip memory or in an external memory depending on the panel resolution. The LCD TFT display controller provides a 24-bit parallel digital RGB or red-green-blue interface with additional signals for horizontal and vertical synchronization. LTDC is a master on the AHB bus matrix and can access internal memories like internal flash and internal SRAM or external memories via FSMC Octo SPI interfaces. It also features a dedicated 64-word FIFO per layer. It supports programmable timings and polarity parameters to interface with a wide range of display panels. The LTDC offers flexible programmable parameters, enabling the support of a wide variety of display panels. Programmable display size, for example, QVGA, WQVGA, or VGA. Programmable background color, 24-bit RGB value programmed in the LCD controller register, or LTDC BCCR, used for blending with the bottom layer. Multi-layer support with two-layer blending. Dithering, two bits per color channel, 222 for RGB. The dithering pseudo-random technique is used to add a small random value or threshold to each pixel color channel, RG or B, value thus rounding up the most significant bits, in some cases, when displaying 24-bit data on an 18-bit display. New programmed values can be loaded immediately at runtime or during vertical blanking. This is the LCD TFT controller block diagram. The LTDC features three clock domains, AHB clock domain, or HCLK, to transfer data from memories to the layer FIFO and frame buffer configuration registers. APB clock domain, or PCLK, to access the global configuration and interrupt registers. And the pixel clock domain, or LCD CLK, to generate LCD TFT interface signals, pixel data, and layer configuration. The LCD-CLK output should be configured according to the panel requirements. To interface with TFT panels, all timings are programmable through the LTDC controller. These timings come from the TFT panel data sheet and are VBP, vertical back porch, VFP, vertical front porch, HBP, horizontal back porch, HFP, horizontal front porch, H-Sync, horizontal synchronization, and V-Sync, vertical synchronization. The LTDC output signals are summarized in this table. The LCD TFT controller pins must be configured by the user application. The unused pins can be used for other purposes. The programmable pixel format is used for the data stored in the frame buffer of a layer. This table describes the pixel data mapping versus the selected input color format. The LTDC can be configured with up to eight programmable input color formats per layer. Direct color, ARGB8888, RGB8888, RGB565, ARGB1555, ARGB4444. Indirect color, L8. 8-bit luminance, or CLUT, AL44, 4-bit alpha and 4-bit luminance, and AL88, 8-bit alpha and 8-bit luminance. Pixel format conversion, or PFC, is when the color format of a bitmap is converted into another one. The pixel data is read from the frame buffer and then transformed to the internal ARGB8888 format as follows. 
Components which have a width of less than 8 bits get expanded to 8 bits by bit replication. The 8 most significant bits are chosen. Note that conversion from direct color to indirect color or from indirect color to direct color is easy to do, but converting a direct color to an indirect color format would mean regenerating a color lookup table or CLUT, which is a very complex operation. The color lookup table is only used in the case of indexed color for L8, AL44, and AL88 input formats. It supports up to 256 entries per layer. The frame layer contains an index value for each panel. The CLUT has to be loaded with the RG and B values that will replace the original RGB values of that pixel or indexed color. Each color or RGB value has its own address, which corresponds to the position within the CLUT. Every layer can be positioned and resized. The programmable layer position and size define the first and last visible pixel of a line and the first and last visible line in the window. It enables the display of either the full image frame or only a part of the image frame. Every layer has a configurable number of lines and line length for the color frame buffer and the pitch. The pitch is the distance between the start of one line and the beginning of the next line in bytes. These parameters are expressed in bytes, not in pixels, so their values depend on the number of bits per pixel. The line length and the number of lines parameters are used to stop the prefetching of data from the layer FIFO at the end of the frame buffer. The LTDC features configurable blending factors. The blending order is fixed and it is bottom up. If two layers are enabled, layer 1 is first blended with the background color, then layer 2 is blended with the result of the previous blending. Each layer can have a default color in the ARGB format, which is used outside the defined layer window, or when a layer is disabled. Here is a tricky use case. Layer 1 is enabled. Layer 2 is disabled, with default color set to black. If the blending factor is set to constant alpha equals 0xff, no image is displayed. Only the black window is displayed. The default color of layer 2 is black. To bypass the default color, set the blending factor to transparent, alpha equals 0x00. A color key, or RGB, can be configured to be representative for a transparent pixel. If color keying is enabled, the current panels, after format conversion and before blending, are compared to the color key. If they match for the programmed RGB value, all channels, or ARGB, of that pixel are set to zero. The color key value can be configured and used at runtime to replace the pixel RGB value. Color keying is enabled through the LTDC LXCKCR register. A line interrupt is generated when a programmed line position is reached. A register reload interrupt is generated when the shadow registers are reloaded during the vertical blanking period. A FIFO underrun interrupt is generated when a pixel is requested from an empty layer FIFO. And a transfer error interrupt is generated when an AHB bus error occurs during data transfer. The LTDC is active in run and sleep modes. An LTD interrupt can cause the device to exit sleep mode. In stop 0, stop 1, or stop 2 mode, the LTDC is frozen and its register's contents are kept. In standby or shutdown mode, the LTDC is powered down and it must be reinitialized afterwards. Graphics applications require a high-quality user interface. This can be achieved using the STM32L4 Plus to connect the display thanks to the LCD TFT controller. In addition, the FSMC or OctoSPI interface may be used to access an external flash memory containing all of the graphical content needed, such as background images, high-resolution icons, or fonts to support multiple languages. This is a list of peripherals related to the LTDC. Please refer to these peripheral trainings for more information if needed. Reset and Clock Control, or RCC and general-purpose inputs and outputs, or GPIOs.